Today is a pretty special day for me. It's my 54th birthday today, which means I get to do whatever I want, right? Well, I wanted to spend some time with my animals. My girl Gemma here just took a rabbit, which is absolutely amazing. You know that I'm trying to beef these girls up a little bit after they went off of food for a little bit of while. And I just want to get her kind of back to her weight and stuff like that. She's amazing. But today is all about doing the things that I love to do. And let's face it, what I love to do is be around my animals. You might as well keep the rabbit feeding going. You guys know that I've been feeding giant snakes since I was a teenager. It's just something that I've always love to do and hopefully Lucy and Juliet will want to eat. Juliet was actually in shed last time so she didn't take a meal. Yep that was a strike for Lucy. Now let's see if this girl wants to eat. Oh she looks interested but maybe not. Looks like Juliet's not gonna eat. She's a big girl and she actually used to only feed like once every two or three months a giant meal. Now we're feeding her more like every seven to 10 days. So, you know, maybe she's just going on that thing where she doesn't need food right now. But I would love to have my big three snakes eat for my birthday, but uh, hey, two out of three, not bad. And you know, for every birthday since uh, I was young, whether I was out in the woods collecting garter snakes, cause September it was still, you know, garter snake season. Or uh, as I got older, you know, taking care of my animals, I always spent time with my animals. And you know, Nova here is a really really special animal to me. Of course, he's a New Guinea and Indonesian frill dragon. And uh, he was one of our first animals along with Bella that we got that were like, hey, we could put this in a reptile zoo. And he's just been an amazing animal. And I know when we opened up, and still to this day, he's just one of those animals that people love to take out. He loves people, he hangs out. And you know, that fact that they have those frills and you can kind of just show kids like, look at how big this is. A lot of them think about like the Dilophosaurus on Jurassic Park and stuff like that. So Nova is just important to me. But again, it's just spending time with my animals. Just, you know, this is my happy spot, you know? I mean like I don't want to go and do anything crazy or take any fancy trips or anything like that I really just want to spend time with these amazing animals and I get to do it every day don't get me wrong but it's even more special on my birthday of course Ben and Jerry a snake that is just it's again just an iconic snake here at the Reptarium you know, he's and coming up on I think almost six years old now so he's getting up there but thankfully these guys will typically live anywhere from 12 to 20 plus years so hopefully he's not even halfway there yet and he'll be around for a long time or I should say they will be around for a long time because they definitely change a lot of people's perception on snakes because they're just so interesting and unique and stuff like that. So, so yeah, so today is all about the animals. I guess also birthdays for me is about reminiscing about the past, right? You know, think about it. I don't think about the past too much. I know that might surprise you guys. I'm always thinking about the now and the future. You know, what I need to do to do things better. You know, the aquarium and all these other things. But on my birthday, I often think like, you know, about when I got things and when things changed. And, and I remember getting Night Fury. We went out to Kevin McCurley's place at Nerd. And uh, I was like, I wanted a white snake and a black snake. We got Casper that is now living at Jay Tingle's place. And of course, we got Night Fury, the jet black one. And again, he had a few to choose from, but there was only one jet black one and he didn't want to give it up. And I remember going like, well, Kevin, then I'm not interested in buying a brown one. I want a black one. And if you're not going to give me this one, I'm not interested. And he was finally like, all right, I'll go ahead and sell that to you. But Night Fury is just such a beautiful, beautiful animal. And again, you know, you take that thing out and people just freak out about that iridescent rainbow thing going on. I mean, what a gorgeous name. And seeing stuff like this on my birthday, it definitely makes a glow. There's no doubt about it. It's so cool to see hobby out with kids and stuff like that. We bring them out oftentimes when we're open at the Reptera. And this just gives you kind of a prelude of what it's going to be like when he's constantly on display over in the Legacy Aquarium and Reptera. I mean, it's going to be so cool, but hobby is getting big and he is such a star. I mean, gosh, capybaras are, uh, they're just the coolest animal in the world. You guys know that there's no way that there's going to be a special day like my birthday where I'm not going to spend a little time with my anaconda. Unfortunately, Ivy is in the water. Looks like she's starting to go into sheds, so she's going to be a little antisocial today. But we have Ariana here, who's actually coming out of shed right now. And we keep on thinking again that she's going to have some partho babies. We ultrasounded her, and we saw some babies in there, but I don't really know when. You know, I remember with Ivy when she had her babies, it was like seemed like we were waiting forever, and then one day, bam, they just popped out. Now, obviously, Ariana, if she does have babies, is going to have a much smaller amount of babies. Babies than Ivy. She had 41 or 42 babies. This girl maybe, you know, maybe six or eight if we're lucky. And again, because it's Partho, the last time she did this, it actually only had one. And by the way, Parthenogenesis is virgin birth, meaning that there was no male present. So they're like little clones of the adult, right? So they're all going to be female and they're all going to be clones of the mother, which is pretty cool, you know, to be able to have an unfertilized baby. And it does happen with boa constrictors and anaconda. And, uh, and you know, also some egg layers will do it too, like Komodo dragons are notorious for it. Being in here is just 
a really cool thing, you know, I mean, it's just a cool cage, and I've spent a lot of time in this cage, I can tell you that much, and uh, some of my favorite times has been with me and Ivy just hanging out for an hour or two, and, um, you know, so the anacondas are amazing on this day. Another thing about my birthday is that it always coincides with just about the time that we open up the Reptarium. Actually, this next weekend would be the anniversary of us opening up. I remember our birthday, we were almost done, we were in here working till like 4 o'clock in the morning, trying to get things done because we had to open in just a handful of days. So we literally are coming up on our fifth anniversary here at the Reptarium. And it's amazing to think how far we've come and how far things have changed too. Like obviously we didn't have Drogo. As a matter of fact, this room was originally a snake massage room where we had a massage table in here and people came in. We really did on the opening weekend for 2.0 and then COVID hit and then this room was empty and then we thought, well, why don't we repurpose this room from a massage room to something that is even cooler, of course, a sloth room. And ever since we've had Drogo and it's just super cool. And by the way, we're going to have a little surprise here in just about a week and a half with another animal that I know you guys are going to absolutely love because I know Drogo's amazing. This one is going to be absolutely spectacular. I'm not only blessed with amazing animals that I get to spend every day of my life with, but I'm also blessed with the people around me, my crew, my family, my loved ones. They're always here to support me through anything. What's up, Mr. Brian? Happy birthday from me to you. So excited for Animal Con. Can't wait to spend the rest of the year and the whole next year and the year after that with you. I love you. Happy birthday. All right, Dad. Jay here, of course, your black son. Just wishing you a happy birthday. I love you so much. You're super inspiring. Yeah, let's make this another good year around the sun. Or wait, is it around the moon? I actually, I don't really know. You know what I'm trying to say, though. I love you so much, Dad. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday. Yo brother, happy birthday. Love you so very much. You're an amazing individual and you inspire everybody around you. I'm so proud to be called your friend. On this awesome day, I hope you enjoy your very happy birthday. Congratulations on another year around the sun. Happy, happy birthday, Brian. I just wanted you to know how appreciated you are. This job is so much more than a job to me. It's like a childhood dream come true and I wouldn't have it if it wasn't for you. So I just wanted you to know how grateful I am. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy birthday, Brian. I know it, today is kind of a big day for you and thank you for everything that you do for us. You're always amazing. I just hope that you have a great day today. You deserve the best. Have a happy birthday. Love you. Happy birthday, Brian. I hope you have an amazing day. Hi, happy birthday, Brian guy. I hope that this next year will be phenomenal with legacy opening up and all the new animals. I'm so excited to be a part of your dream come true. And I hope this next year around the sun is one of the best ones yet to come. Happy birthday, Brian. I'm so glad I've gotten to work for you at the Reptarium and I can't wait to see what the future holds. I hope you have a great day. Hey, Brian. I just wanted to take a moment to tell you how much you mean to me. You're my mentor and you've always taught me that as long as you believe in your dream and are willing to work hard enough to achieve it, anything is possible. And because of this, I'd like to say a very happy birthday. Y salud. Happy birthday, boss man. Love you. Peace. Happy birthday, Brian. Hope it's a good one. We all love you. I would just like to say happy birthday. You are a real inspiration, and I hope your special day is amazing. Happy birthday, Brian. I hope this year is really, really special. I look forward to a lot more years together, growing the business, and expanding our passion. Hey, happy birthday, Brian. Happy birthday to you.
at this chunky little monkey here. I love bearded dragons. And you know, it was emotional. I didn't know the crew was gonna put that piece together. And, uh, and actually even Jay hid the camera on my desk and had it rolling when I walked into the office so that I didn't even know it was being <laughs> recorded. I actually heard a beep at the end and that made me realize that the camera was there. So they were a little sneaky about it, but uh, that certainly was a uh, emotional and beautiful moment for my day. You know, there's probably nothing more than I want for my birthday than to get this place done. And I'm not gonna lie, it's been a little frustrating. We've been kind of a little bit slow this last two or three weeks. You know, things have been supposed to be happening, have been pushed off. This showed up today. This is actually all the steel that basically wraps the entire front facade, right? So right now the front facade is just wood with a little bit of weather stripping on it and stuff like that. This is all the color that it's actually gonna be. You know, again, it's gonna be two tones blue and then up top of gold, you know, sheathing, which is gonna look so, so, good and then here in the next couple days the window guys come back again another disappointment they were supposed to already have the windows you know frames already in but they got pulled off and had to go do something else for a few days so that's happening and then as far as the inside we're supposed to get started on the HVAC which is the heating and cooling that's getting put off till next week instead of this week and then we've got to spray foam the ceiling then we've got to paint the ceiling then we come in and start trenching the floor start working on electrical again heating and cooling gets going and then here in a few weeks we actually start building the predator tank that's going to be right over here stingray tank that's going to be over there a couple other tanks over here the koi pond all that stuff starts happening so again if i had one birthday wish it would be let's get this thing rolling because every single day is getting closer to the day that i want to open up which is christmas and i tell you what that dream is getting a little bit harder to believe that we're going to achieve but let's hope we do it but anyways so we do have all our steel here this should start going in as soon as the rain stops got a couple more rabbits so i think i'm going to go ahead and give sunrise one of come them come on girl come on there she is yep She's hungry. I think my guy Snaz is gonna want some food here. Whoa, there it is. Good job, buddy. Love this thing. Sunfire definitely is looking good. Over here, girl. This way, this way, this way. There you go. Ah, perfect. Oh. Oops, that wasn't very elegant by me. You know, I don't ever want to make the vlog somber or uh, a downer. Uh, I've even had a couple people tell me, which bummed me out when I heard it. They said like in a comment, they were like, you know, I kind of stopped watching because of, you know, your cancer and it made them feel a little bit bad, I guess. I I'm not sure. Please don't do that. I mean, I need you guys to keep watching. It's like we're working hard and, and uh, I don't want you guys to go away, but it it's gonna be a little bit of a more somber moment here. So I'm just warning you guys. It's just that uh, this birthday is, a little difficult for me right because you know i am dealing with my health issues and there's a chance that this you know i shouldn't even say a chance I, I don't even know how to say it. i mean like i think that what if this is my last birthday you know what if i'm not around next september um I hope that doesn't happen. I, you know, I try to be positive. I try to think that I'm going to be cancer free and then I'm going to beat this. I'm going to beat the odds. And, and, you know, obviously I'm doing okay now. I mean, I have issues, you know, I mean, there's things that are difficult for me. My energy is way less. I feel like I walk around with weights on my ankles. Uh, I have neuropathy. It's something that's called that's, you know, where you can't use your hands very well. I have a lot of stomach problems from the actual cancer itself. The treatment is, is very difficult. Um, so it's, it's tough, but I still have this like, I gotta beat this. I gotta get on the other side of this. Somehow, some way, there's gonna be a miracle that's gonna present itself or a treatment that's gonna present itself that's gonna do like, oh my God, it worked. And, and, and I believe that, but then there's the other part of me, the human side of me. And I posted on Instagram about this as well. There's the human side of me that like, does question it, you know, and does think like, is this the last one? And, and, and I guess realistically, that means I should live this day the best I can. If there's a chance, this might be my last birthday, you know, and, and I don't want it to be. I want to be here with you guys for the next 30 years, you know, just that's what I want. I love my life and I'm so blessed to have you guys and the people around me and my animals and and it's, it's just amazing, you know, I don't want to leave, you know, I've got two grandkids, I've got another grandkid on the way, I've got an amazing family, again, friends and crew and, and business, everything is so amazing, Legacy Aquarium, you know, I want to be over there enjoying it, you know, I want to be over there enjoying the 10th year anniversary and, 
and I want to be there seeing all the people come in and, and um, it's hard you know and, and I, I you know I could lie to you guys and say that I, I, I never think this way I, again I try to be positive I try to be upbeat I try to be but there's a part of me that's realistic too and, and uh, so that seeps into my mind on significant days you know, whenever we've done certain things with the family or now my birthday, it's like those days are, you know, I wake up and I'm emotional, you know, it's like those are the days I cry, you know, uh, because I, I don't want it to end, you know, and it's difficult. Um, I don't want this to end, you know, I live the most blessed life ever and uh, I want to continue to be here for you guys, so. Uh, I'm going to do the best I could do to make the rest of this day amazing, creating memories. Heaven forbid this is my last. I want the people around me to have memories of me that they can cherish and memories that I can cherish until whatever happens. So um, keep those prayers coming, guys, and, and keep uh, that positive energy coming my way. And like I said, sometimes you know one of your comments can just inspire me for the day. And so I appreciate you guys so much. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my birthday. I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed this video. And thank you for all your support on everything. I love you guys so much. And uh, we'll see you soon.